You know what, all the month of June, we were highlighting Canada Heart and Soul, the documentary series with eight uh, DVDs and Blu-rays in this package. Hopefully everyone has requested your copy. But we're going to be focusing on one particular one for Canada Day here. It's called In Search of Canada. And it goes back into the history. And what did the founder fa founding fathers have in mind? And, wh and what through Canada's history uh, can we find of the faith foundations that really made this country great? Mm -hmm. And so why don't we go to the, the first clip and have a look. In his morning devotions, Leonard Tilley, the premier of New Brunswick, read Psalm 72. He shall have dominion from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Tilly thought, what a splendid name to give Canada. The Fathers of Confederation agreed. On July the 1st, 1867, the British North America Act Uniting Upper and Lower Canada, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia was established by royal proclamation. The Dominion of Canada was born. Canada's official motto is also drawn from Psalm 72, Amari usque ad mare, from sea to sea. Psalm 72, 8, Dominion of Canada. Somewhere in the 70s, Canadians and parliamentarians got the idea that the word dominion had something to do with Queen Victoria. And the reason was, is that in the speech of the monarch, they began using the term, and my dominions. That was never used before. That came directly out of the Canadian experience and the motto that was declared for this country, which Sir Leonard Tilley uh, brought to the gathering in Charlottetown. Now, I actually went to Gagetown to the cemetery and I, I stood there in front of his, his grave, his tombstone, for quite a long time. The, the story's on the tombstone of, of the motto of Canada. And I meditated on this and I prayed. I said, oh God, great, loving, holy God, please put your blessing upon this country and indeed have dominion. You know, dominus is the word Lord. Uh, you know, in the old Latin prayers, in the Catholic Church, the word dominus would show up quite often. It means Lord, that God would be Lord of our land. And that's been my prayer for these 51 years of televising across Canada. And uh, put, putting your heart and soul into it, yeah. David. I remember when this was Dominion Day. Yeah. For years. And our national anthem has that prayer right in it. Yeah, God keep it our land. Well, one thing, you know, they, they took the name Dominion out, but then they put new words into the first line of the chorus of our national anthem as a prayer. So maybe they balance out each other. <laughs> now, Dad, I, I'm holding here this uh, July 1st, 1867 the edition Globe. of The Globe, which was the precursor to The Globe and Mail. And uh, I'm not politicking here, but George Brown was the publisher of The Globe, and he was the founder of the Liberal Party. Uh, really. It's just like having a history book right <laughs> yeah. beside you. It's amazing. So anyhow, there we go. <laughs> now, uh, this is an amazing thing, and I'm holding it very gingerly because I don't want it to rip any more than it has already. But uh, as, as you see there, it's, it was Monday, July 1st, 1867. And I want to just read a, a couple of, of yeah. selections from this, if you don't mind. Over on the, the left column, we see here uh, Confederation Day. Uh, Dominion of Canada, there's that word. And then uh, as I read down uh, the beginning of this article, with the first dawn of this gladsome midsummer morn, we hail the birthday of a new nationality. A united British America with its four million, millions of people takes its place this day among the nations of the world. And then uh, you see Dominion of Canada there again. And then jumping down to the beginning of the next paragraph, let us gratefully acknowledge the hand of the almighty disposer of events in bringing about this result, pregnant with so important an influence on the condition and destinies of the inhabitants of these provinces and of the teeming millions who in ages to come will people the dominion of Canada from ocean to ocean and give it its character in the annals of time. Oh. And those millions, those millions have come from every country in the world. What about 160 languages are spoken daily in this land? The millions have come and is still under the dominion. <laughs> That's my prayer, the dominion of the Lord.
Not referring to the crown. <laughs> Mara, I know you're a royalist, but I... Oh, well, uh, <laughs> yes, but we won't break that down. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we are well, going to look at uh, just what you are highlighting, David, the diversity of our wonderful nation expressed through community. Here's another clip. In Canada's founding in 1867, it is a cooperation of communities, of provinces. It's not a collection of individuals who get together in Charlottetown. It's representatives of communities. That part of the Canadian vision is also um, a part of the, the Christian vision, namely that individuals flourish best when we are in communities that flourish and that flourish well with each other. We had to learn to live with different religious traditions, Protestant and Catholic. So learning to get along with each other, culturally, religiously, constitutionally, that has put down a template that has made Canada, in a, in a sense, one of the most successful countries um, uh, in dealing with diversity. That's another clip from the In Search of Canada documentary. Now, Dad, Crossroads has a, a history of uh, talking a lot about Canada and writing about Canada. Uh, these are just some of, some of the books produced over the years. Canada, Sharing Our Christian Heritage. And uh, you've got the God Keep Our Land book, Dad, that you wrote a while back. Uh, there's Impact Canada 100. I visited 100 uh, <laughs> communities from coast to coast. And took, uh, actually did a questionnaire of the pastors in the community that came together. And uh, the, uh, uh, the book came out of that. Those and the, the, the salt book, and the, the salt, uh, flavoring the moral and spiritual climate of our world. Now, these are unfortunately out of out print. Of print. <laughs> and so they they're fine. We're not, but <laughs> but what, what we have done, though, is put together this uh, amazing documentary set which includes just everything you want to know about Canada and some faith foundations and, and wonderful people, places and events that have really shaped the history of Canada. And for the most part, highlights of events that uh, we miss in our educational system. Mm -hmm. So I would strongly recommend that this be a part of every school. Yeah, library. but we didn't miss the goal of the century. <laughs> and this this last week on that wasn't uh, that great? Uh, yeah, Wednesday. What a party! Yeah. With uh, uh, with Paul yeah. Henderson, we, we had a glorious Ronnie party Ellis. here. Yeah. <laughs> well, one of the things we learned from history is that if we do actually learn from it, it helps us looking forward. Mm -hmm. And so, looking back allows us to also look forward. Here's another clip. It seems to me that Christians in Canada, in particular, right now, are in a situation different from other Canadians. We used to run the show and we're still coping with the fact that we don't. And when you used to run the show and you don't anymore, you can be resentful of privilege that you've lost and power that is no longer yours. I think we have to hold history here. We have to hold it here in such a way that it informs present behavior. If we don't, we will indeed forget and we will repeat its mistakes. The Canadian vision is a, is a modest one. It's really quite a pragmatic one. We just really want to lead a good life. We're not trying to conquer the rest of the world. We just are going to try to get along so we can live well. And my concern is that Canadian Christians use the cultural power that they now have to work with their neighbors to build the kind of Canada that they will want to live in when they no longer have that power. All right, we get to talk uh, on the documentary. You hear from, from some great experts who can reflect on it. And Dad, you actually host the whole series of uh, Canada Heart and Soul and, well, except, and narrate them. Uh, except for our great Canadian astronaut, Chris Hadfield, Bruce Stacy, who is our, our uh, uh, content uh, director for all that we do here. He, he's the host of that one. <laughs> he, he was in the same church as the, uh, the Hadfield ha uh, family uh, for a number of years. So the Canada Heart and Soul documentary collection. If you have not had your opportunity to request it yet, please do. Uh, it'd be wonderful if we could just give them away because we, we feel so strongly about it. Every home should have this. Uh, but because of, of the cost that goes into it, we're, we're suggesting a, a special gift to the ministry of $150. And so your help makes, makes well, it all, possible for us to do more of this type of great production. Eight are in Blu-ray 
and all eight are also in DVD. That's so right. that means that, uh, you know, your grandmother you can give the DVD to and mm -hmm. you with the fancy new uh, technology of Blu-ray. <laughs> Nobody's missed. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs>